Let's take another look at geometric dimensioning and tolerancing in Creole Parametric from an, an example from the GeoTall Pro Book from Technical Consultants Incorporated. And you can find out more information about them from www.geotall.com. I've got this part here and it's got cylindrical symmetry. And so first off, we're going to create our set datum. So let's go to the combination state for those and I'm going to rotate the model for our a datum we're going to use this surface and let's go to the annotate tab and it turns out that the front annotation plane which is already selected is the one that we want to use and we're going to start off by qualifying that surface using a geometric tolerance and we will select the surface and then position where we want it located and this first geometric characteristic is going to be for flatness. And we're just going to have a very large value of 0.1 for the needs. And you'll notice we have this red bar underneath the different datums because datum references are not allowed. So I'm just going to click in the different cells for the primary, secondary, and tertiary datum references and delete the values. And now that we have our tolerance here, let's create our datum feature symbol. And we will attach it. And you could position it above if you want. And it automatically goes to a value of A. So that is good for our first one. The second datum reference excuse me, datum feature symbol, is going to be for the center of the axis. And it's going to be the center as defined by this particular cylindrical surface. So let's start off by using show annotations and picking this feature. And here we have, there's the dimension that we want, this 25 dimension. And let's click OK. And let's move to plane and pick the plane that we want it located on. Let, that's, let's then grab the dimension and drag it out and let it snap to the center. Right now it's out to three dimensional places. We don't actually, actually only want two dimensional places. And it doesn't have a tolerance on it. This is going to be a symmetric tolerance of plus or minus 0.15. And this one will also have a geometric tolerance associated with it. Let's create our geometric tolerance and attach it to the dimension. It's not going to be flatness. We're going to qualify it by having it be perpendicular. And it's perpendicular with respect to the A datum. And let's click OK out of the select dialog box. And the value of 0.1 over here, yep, that is good. One other thing that we need is a diameter symbol. So let's make sure that we go to our symbols. And here we have the diameter. And now that is looking correct. So let's click on the background in order to complete our A and B datums. Oh wait, we didn't create our B datum in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's create our datum feature symbol and attach it in here. And you'll notice it's being attached to the leader lines. And there we have our A and B datums. And let me turn off my datum plane visibility. It's cluttering up the screen. So those are the different set datums. Before I go to the 7A combination state, I'm going to click the update button so that it remembers the orientation that we have the model set here. Now that we have our different uh, datums defined inside of here, let's go to the 7A and it repositions the model and we have a few other different dimensions that we want to show in this case. So let's go to show annotations and we'll pick this feature over here and we want that dimension. Let's click apply and then pick this feature and we want this dimension over here and click OK because those are the only two that we want and 
Now I am going to go to the turn on my datum play display again, just so that I can select these different dimensions. And for ease, I am selecting them out of the detail tree. And then choose move to plane and move them to the datum plane front. Right now they're sitting over in the middle of the part. Let's go and grab them. And again, it snaps automatically to being centered. Grab this one, and again, it's being snapped to the center. And we can do some additional repositioning as necessary. Let's turn off the datum plane visibility now that we're done with it. Again, just using it as needed. And these are both going to have geometric tolerances associated with them. Let's click on geometric tolerance. And first, let's define it for the 12 datum or 12 dimension. And this one is going to be a positional tolerance. So let's find position in here. And it's going to have the value of 0.1. And it's going to be with respect to A as well as B. And I'm selecting the icon that allows me to select a datum reference. Let's jump over to MBD5 and select the B datum. And click OK. Jump back over to 7A. And there we have the position tolerance defined as we want it. And we're going to do one additional one for the 20 dimension over here. Let's choose geometric tolerance and pick the 20 dimension. And the only thing that we need to change here is the fact that it's going to have a slightly bigger value, 0.2. And click on the background of the screen. Let's select it and drag it away just so that they're not overlapping on top of each other. So there we have those two particular dimensions with the positional tolerance. And we're going to throw one more positional tolerance in here. And that is going to be for the diameter of the big cylinder. Let's go to the appropriate orientation. And looks like right in this case will be appropriate. And let's show annotations. Pick the big disk. And there's the dimension that we want. Let's click the OK button. And let's then choose to move this to this plane over here so it's a little more readable. And also, let's change the orientation because we want it. Wow, why did it go to 180 over there? Let's see. 90. 90 looks pretty good. And let's choose to, let's see, flip arrows? No, let's flip the text so it gets to the outside. And that looks good for that one. Uh, I just noticed that these different dimensions are out to too many decimal places, and they don't have the appropriate tolerances. So let's select all three of the dimensions. And that way we can choose appropriately to say that, hey, maybe these different dimensions only need to be out to two decimal places, and for the tolerance for all of these, they are going to be plus minus symmetric. And then let's click each one by one. And for the 56 dimension, this is going to be plus or minus 0.2. And for the 12 dimension, this is going to be plus or minus 0.05. And, oops, did 005. There we go. And for the 20 dimension, this is going to be plus or minus 0.1. And the 56 dimension is also going to have a positional tolerance. Let's choose geometric tolerance and select the dimension. And the nice thing is it retains the previous values, so there's less work for us to, to do. Uh, the only change for this one is it's going to have a larger value for the positional tolerance. So that's good for those. And there are just a few other dimensions that I want to place inside of here. Let's go back to that front orientation. And let's use show annotations and select some of the other different dimensions that we might not have in here. Let's click Apply. And Apply. And this other dimension here, 
select it. And just like before, we can select the different dimensions, adjust the number of decimal places, and also change the orientation. And let's try 90 again. Oh, wait, that's the annotation plane. Let me cancel out of there. Let's select the dimension. And then we can change orientation. And try 0 degrees. Nope, let's try 180. And click OK. And we could adjust the other ones appropriately. One more time. There we go. And adjust these other different dimensions and let it snap to center. And same for this one. There we go. And if I wanted to, if I feel like there's too much going on in here, I could create a, another annotate, excuse me, combination state and move some of these over. Similarly, if I decided for clarity, I might want some of those different set datums on this particular combination state. I can go over to MBD5 and select the different annotations. And from here, we can click back on the annotate tab, assign to states, and select 7A is where we want it to appear. Now when we jump over to 7A, there we have the datum. And you'll notice that automatically brought over both the dimension and the geometric tolerance that clarify it. And let's just do some last positioning and adjustments of the zoom level. And maybe bring these down in a little bit more. Just getting positioned exactly right. And let's click update so it rem remembers the orientation for the 7A state. And in this way, we have documented the part with the different rel re relevant dimensions uh, as well as uh, the geometric tolerances. A few other last notes. These dimensions over here, if we want them to be basic dimensions, we can select them. And then from the tolerance drop down on the dimension tab on the ribbon, we can choose basic. Furthermore, if we want to apply an overall profile tolerance to the various different surfaces, we can start off with a flat to screen note and use geometric tolerance. And I'm just going to locate it on the screen somewhere. Let's change that to the profile of a surface. And for the value of it, let's make sure that we get rid of that shape modifier, which is not allowed. And the tolerance is going to be, oops, deselected it. It's going to be 0.030. And it's going to be with respect to A and B. If so desired, we could qualify the B datum, for example, by adding a symbol for max material boundary. And that way we have it in there. But to use this in a note, there are two different ways that we could do it. You could select it and from additional text, you could try fitting the additional text inside of here. But you could also choose to make a flat to screen note and drop it in here and write something of the variety, all untoleranced surfaces. And I'm going to start a new line. I'm going to put in an ampersand and then the letter G followed by the tolerance. And I happen to notice that, you know, since it's the last one, it's GP6. I'm going to put G6 over in here. And that way it places the tolerance inside of here. I no longer need the tolerance on the computer screen, so I can select it and choose to erase it from in here. And that way we have the note indicating the overall uh, surface tolerance for profile. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded.
Thank you very much.